you think you know all there is to know about Jacksonville, Florida? Well, if you aren't aware of the amazing food and drink scene in the bold city, then get ready. Welcome to Jacksonville. Hello. We just traveled all the way from the vacation capital of Florida, Orlando, to... Jacksonville. Now, when we said we were going from Orlando to Jacksonville, a local told us Jacksonville is known for investment banking. Well, that's not very exciting. So we're here to prove that wrong. I think there's a lot more to Jacksonville than that. What do you think? I know there's a lot more to Jacksonville than that, and we are going to uncover all of Jacksonville's amazing food and drink options. We're here with two of our best friends. We're gonna have a great time of trying Jacksonville breweries, trying some great local donut shops, because of course. Yeah. And then whatever else we get into. Know, pizza, tacos. Whatever this wants. <laughs> <laughs> so pokey outy. For our first stop, we chose to get some damn fine barbecue at the Bearded Pig. excited for barbecue. The Fafa Foglin. <laughs> Holy shit, Caleb, this is so good. I've never seen her look happier. My pregnant self is very happy with this meat. <laughs> This food's so good. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. Oh yeah, just use them fingers. It's like falling apart. Use them fingers. Look how tender that is. Well, baby. It like breaks apart. A big piece of smoked chicken. Only one way to eat it. Like a man or women or allies. Do you eat a bone? <laughs> it it's is coated with seasoning all over the top of that. And that so is just good. good. Look at that. Mm. Beef inside. Mm. Oh my gosh, it's so tender. I don't even need a sauce. You right? don't need any sauce at all. That's just freaking smoke for the glove. Mm. <laughs> When you have something that you're so good at, you just gotta let the world see it. We're so good at eating. And I'm really proud of that. You're welcome, world. We are pros. Although we did leave one rib and one piece of chicken, but damn it, it's a lot of food. So much food. So good. Best brisket I've ever had. And I'm from Mississippi and they pride themselves in brisket. Maybe like. The Bearded Pig in Jacksonville, some of the best barbecue we have ever had. Great atmosphere. Mm -hmm. oh. String lights. I'm a sucker for string lights, but also this is the best brisket I've ever had. And I've had brisket literally all over the world. Um, I love it. Caleb was so cute. He's like, yeah, we'll just bring our leftovers. You see how many leftovers there are? Not many. That's how good the barbecue was, that we have only one rib and a half a piece of chicken. I told you, we're really good at eating. Yeah, gotta stop here. Well worth it. Mm. Bearded Pig mm. fans. We stayed in the eclectic neighborhood of San Marco, which had many perks, but perhaps the best part of this area is Good Dough Donuts. This handcrafted donut shop easily ranks as one of the top five donutteries of all time. With their creative flavors and their brio style yeast dough, it's... Well, good dough. It's still hot. Okay, this is the brown butter raised.
Which one are you going for? You gotta try the original glaze. Look at that. <laughs> the lines. Mm. That's good and dough. Fire lines. Hence the name. Good dough. Oh, it's airy. That's the original. Glaze. What's the original? Like it just pops out with there, right there in the middle. Mm. Oh, that's good. What's that? Banana pudding donut. It's like a bomb donut. You can see the fill. It's like with the cream. Is it the bomb? Mm. <laughs> it's like grandma's recipe banana pudding in a donut. Yum, avocado. Ooh. Yum. Oh, that looks good too. If a donut isn't enough for you, then get messy with the intimidatingly delicious fried chicken dough witch. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Wicked Barley Brewery. No, you said it wrong. It's Wicked Bally. Wicked Bally in Jacksonville, which is actually one of the top 10 breweries in the U.S. We've never been here before. Great food, great beer. Let's do it. Excitement level's high. So pumped. This is one of the coolest breweries I've ever seen. We're sitting outside, but you're out kind of like in the Floridian swamp. It literally says, yeah. do not feed the gators right here. Yeah. This is so cool. This is definitely the kind of place you want to come drink at. Only one of us will be drinking beer today, but we do have some non-alcoholic rosé for this one. Because I'm classy and I brought my own. <laughs> That's how you do it. In a Fiji water bottle. <laughs> second trimester living, babe. At least I got the energy levels of the second trimester. I'm ready to party. <laughs> it's called class, Sharon. <laughs> Milkshake IPA, uh, that's delicious. The F number sign, chicken A. Also known as? The F and A. Also Can't say known it. As? Freaking A. <laughs> hey, okay, are y'all happy? Yeah. <laughs> Kimchi pork belly fries. This is this is gastro pub food right here. It's my favorite in the world. Cheap, delicious, but creative. Oh, you're going for a straight help. Hey. This one tastes different, but this one Oh, that's hot. And it's good. I have a bowl of sauerkraut and house-made pickles. I'm so happy. This is my pregnancy craving. Oh, that's got like um like a fennel in it. We next ventured north of the river to Intuition Ale Works. Intuition has a great selection of beers, including IPAs, Saisons, Sours, and Ales. And you can drink in the downstairs bar area or get a river and city view from their rooftop bar. As long as you have an intuition brew, there is no wrong answer. This ain't so bad. You can see the Jacksonville Jaguar Stadium right over there. Okay, we just been to the second brewery here in Jacksonville. And I'd say so far we're two for two. Yeah, I'd say. Um, this is, uh, again, a city that you don't realize has as many good places to eat and drink as they really do. And right now, I'm feeling pretty high on Jacksonville. What yeah. about you? Yeah, same. For someone who can't drink anything right now, I'm having a hell of a time. Yeah, but the baby bump's enjoying watching me drink. Yeah, the baby bump is living its best life right now. <laughs> Now,
Next up, Lemon Street Brewing, local Jacksonville brewery. Yep. Yeah, come to Lemon Street. It is a small, locally owned brewery that has built their own version of Wynwood, Miami with the beautiful uh, murals around Miami. They have built that in this place with great local beer, fantastic owners. This is a cool joint. The owners are so nice. Yeah. Our friends are doing the dirty dancing thing, so. That's how cool it is. It makes you want to do dirty dancing. Life gives you lemons, we make you beer. Celebrate the moments of your life. <laughs> Aardvark. Aardwolf. It's an aardvark and a wolf combined. Duh. Everybody Sorry. knows that. For our next brewery, we return to San Marco to Aardwolf Brewing Company. Other than having a great beer and drink selection, Aardwolf has one of the coolest atmospheres of any brewery we've been to. It feels like drinking in an underground jazz club. Number four, still going strong. That's right, I didn't even take a nap. <laughs> big deal for that thing. Oh, it's so big. Ardwolf also partners with local food trucks like Chancho King, who served us some South American inspired bar foods. Is there a better way to end the night than with handcrafted ice cream from Mayday? Nope. Whoa. What's your flavor? I know, the aviator think it's Nutella ice cream with Biscoff cookies and hazelnut. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is milk frozen with Oreos mixed in <laughs> uh, to create a creamy, consistent, just beautiful mixture. And this is what happiness looks like. All right, yesterday we hit four different breweries. I had a lot of beer. Michelle had a lot of water. Uh huh. Today, maybe we'll lean more toward cocktails and mm. things. I don't know if my my belly looks pregnant like Michelle's right no, now, so I need. Doesn't. I think I need to switch up. But the breweries were fantastic. Mm -hmm. Nothing but good things so far. Yep. Remember when I said no more beer? Well, that was before I realized that Bold City had a downtown establishment. Well. Why not one more? Kickback's Gastro Pub is one of the more unique restaurants from any of our travels. If Trent Reznor designed a steampunk speakeasy museum, it would probably look like this. With over 200 beers on tap, it's the kind of place to grab a beer and wander. All right, we're at Goozle Pipes and Gutty Works which is a very hard name to remember, but it's a very steampunk. And here I've got the hipster bullseye whiskey drink. I wish you could smell that cinema. They have one of the largest and most creative food menus of any restaurant. From creative takes on bar food to simple old school favorites like SpaghettiOs, they truly have it all. I mean, 
these fries have bacon jam and sriracha mayonnaise and cheese on them and obviously a fried egg, so. And then there's the hazelnut beer shake. Be prepared to drool, because I am. If you're craving a vintage favorite, come to Kickback's Gastro Pub because you can order a peanut butter and fluffernutter sandwich. Yep. <laughs> That's delicious. I've been at Fluffer Dutter forever. All right, we are so excited because we're at the Florida Cracker Kitchen where they make Floridian cuisines from the time period when the settlers from the uh, English settlers and the Spanish settlers in the like, late 1700s, how they made things. So like all the cattle ranchers and everything, that's how they got the name when they used to like round up the cattle. They used to crack the whip, hence the name uh, Florida Cracker. They got good food. They have great food <laughs> and we're super excited to try this local place. <laughs> White Floridian? <laughs> White Russian. <laughs> After ordering our food, we realized that each dish could feed a family of four. But we ordered three things for us. Ah well, I guess you won't leave hungry. You went in the middle too. I love it because you're gonna have a yeah. white powder mustache. It's so good. <laughs> Meemaw's cinnamon roll. Is it so yummy? It's buttery, buttery and flaky goodness. This is supposed to be really good. God, look at that. Mm. You can see the pepper in it. Gravy looks great. That's maybe the, you are not kidding. That may be the best gravy I've ever had outside of my granny. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. <sighs> that was a lot of food. That was amazing. I ordered the Crisco French toast sandwich. And when I ordered it, the waitress was like, oh, nice, it's not that big. And I was like, oh, great, because I'm not that hungry. And then I stepped away from the table for a moment, walked back, and couldn't believe the size of the sandwich that was sitting on my plate. I like, like a full loaf of bread. Surely this is a mistake. It was like a full loaf of bread. As my friend said, it's the size of her medical textbook. <laughs> it was uh, it was a lot of food, but it was absolutely delicious. Some of the best sausage or gravy I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I have to say I'm pretty proud because we have a friend who lives in Jacksonville that we got to meet up with and we told her at where all we've been eating and drinking and she's a local and she said, you picked all the good spots. So I'm actually quite proud of the things we've accomplished in Jacksonville this weekend. Yeah, we've done a great job. And Tilly really, really liked this place because we felt baby kick for the first time. Yeah. Just because we weren't hungry didn't mean we couldn't try Mini Bar Donuts, who serve tiny sized donuts with full size flavors. Pretty excited for these mini donuts mm. now that I'm already fully mm. stuffed. Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> We're gonna really, really uh, lean into it today. Yes. This is what excitement looks like when you're already full. Again. <laughs> um, this is Pop-Tart, salted caramel popcorn. Um, this is the Rocky Road and that's the s'more. Let me try Pop-Tart. Okay. That looks, there's actually Pop-Tart crumbs on that's the top. That's amazing. Okay. All right. That's like being a little kid or a 35 year old man. But <laughs> that is delicious. The cream, oh my gosh. Yeah. I have the Rocky Road. Rocky Road is one of my favorites. Mmm, <laughs> it's good. All right, well, we are pretty darn excited because we have heard nothing but great things about this place called Bucky's for years. 
and we're finally going to try. Yep, to end our time in Jacksonville, we thought it best to drive a little further down, closer to Daytona, and go to Bucky's. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's see what a beaver nug is. Yeah, and 20 feet of jerky. <laughs> but yep, yeah, I'm game. <laughs> Me too. It's a lot more crowded than I even realized. Yeah, first impression, this place huge. We've heard it's compared to like if a gas station and a Walmart were to have a baby, that would be Bucky's. That's for Kira and Nate. <laughs> Is there anything they don't have here? I don't think so. <laughs> Definitely worth the stop. It's like the giantest Cracker Barrel store <laughs> I've ever seen. <laughs> Well, we are closing out our Jacksonville adventures with this Bucky's experience. <laughs> and let me tell you, this is definitely a place you want to come hungry. We are not hungry. That was our mistake, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Jacksonville. You filled <laughs> yeah. us up. Oh my gosh, that was one of the most like overwhelming but like exciting experiences ever. And we finally found out what beaver nuggets are. Well, I say we found out what they are. We found them. The first couple ingredients are like brown sugar, cornmeal, and corn syrup. So I'm not really sure exactly what it is. Yeah, I had always thought it was the guy equivalent of a camel toe, but um, <laughs> turns out that's not what they sell there. So we're gonna see what a beaver nug is now. Yeah, no prepackaged camel toes here. Cheers. Mm, beaver nug, cheers. All right. That's like caramel popcorn. That tastes like, what's that corn cereal? Uh, Smacks. Honey oh, smacks? it does taste like honey smacks. It looks like a little shrimp, like a wonton. All right, all right, Bucky's, you got me. All right, all right. We'll be back for your brisket next time. Mm-hmm. Then with that, we're full, happy, signing out. Bye. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe. That like really does help. We really appreciate your support, and we look forward to the next segment on Michaela Goes West.